You don't have to be scared, okay? We're the police. I saw a little girl sitting on a bed. Looked like she just woke up. Sitting there, 10 fingers, 10 toes. My name's Rob and this is Don. How old are you? Probably five or something. Finding that little girl alive, I, I don't know if words can describe it. As we got up over the rise on the top of the field, we could see a pickup camper tucked back into the woods. The tracks pulled right up to the south side of the camper. I walked up to the camper and the door was tied tight with a big wad of electrical tape. I was nervous when I opened up the camper door. I didn't know what we were gonna find. Hi, what did you say your name was again? I'm gonna take a little video. How'd you get here? It's his friend back here. Don was right next to me. Turn on your cell phone, he said. We didn't have body cameras and stuff at the time. Okay, you don't have to be scared, okay? We're the police. We had a text thread going on to share information. Don took a picture of me and little girl and put it on that text thread. 6.15 a.m. is when I got the call from Don. He said, we have her. I said, alive? He said, alive. Uh, what went through your mind at that, at that moment? That was fantastic. Never would have believed. My mommy's name is Amanda. Okay. They had called me and said, we have your daughter. She is safe. She is asking for her mom. <laughs> I mean, I just want to hold her. I want to hug her. I want her in my arms. She told us her name, her mother's name. We could see that she had tape around her legs, that she had tape around her arms. Do you remember what Missy's friend looked like? Uh, and she told us about the man that put her there. What kind of car does he have? Wait, and it has a name on it. She told us all these little bits of describing information that described Jacob Ken to us. What does he look like? He has a beard. I'd received a text from Don Newhouse that says, she's alive, arrest him. Our goal was, let's reconfirm his story, that he had no connection with Melissa Norby, and have him continue to deny that. All right, Jake, you're under arrest. Okay, see that? Um, since you are in custody, I will read you the Miranda warning, okay? He was very smug in appearance, um, said very little, and I, I truly think when Agent Girardi and I walked into that interview room, he had no idea we knew what we knew. Nothing's changed from last night. 100% sure? 95% sure. 100 yeah. sure. I'm tired and groggy and you guys kept me up all night. I had the photo that uh, Don and Rob had sent me, and uh, I just said, I'm just gonna let him know he's caught. Is that the 5% that you're talking about that you're not sure of? That was a moment I won't forget. You can see him writhe in the chair a little bit and and he knew at that moment that 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 we had him he's actually smart enough to just say i i want to talk to an attorney however we had enough evidence that we knew what had happened anyway as investigators got through jacob ken's phone and Melissa Norby's phone. There was information that they had planned this together, that Jacob would have a relationship with her if she gave him access to a child. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know if Jacob Kin could be sentenced for long enough, but in that plea deal, kept the little girl from having to get up on the stand and testify and relive what happened. Today, my daughter, she's thriving. She's stubborn. She's pushy and bossy. She is a normal 11-year-old child.